Washington Post March. It's a John Philip Sousa March, who is known as the March King. He was the, um, I'm best known for being the um, conductor and composer and arranger for the United States Marine Band in the um, late 1800s, early, early 1900s. And these marches are actually deceptively difficult at times. And don't worry, I tell them to do that when I'm talking. But, um, the, so they've, uh, it, it, they present a lot of challenges that you, you may not notice, um, particularly if they do well. Um, like the upper woodwinds are playing really high, very frequently. That's really hard. Uh, because when doing that, you either sound like a beautiful musical instrument or fingernails on a chalkboard, and there's really no in between. You may have heard of practicing at home. Um, <laughs> yes, those, those sounds like screaming animals actually are progress. So um, I thought they did a very good job of controlling that. It takes a lot of, lot of effort and maturity on their part to do that. The next piece we're playing for you uh, this evening is an Eric Whitaker piece, Alex Rampe. That's one of my favorites. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's a lyrical piece of music. And I love lyrical music. Sometimes uh, you don't hear younger groups do it because the challenge with lyrical music is that you play the same, you play something, and then it, you have to hold it for a while, and it's there. Whether it's beautiful or not beautiful, it's all out there for the public to hear. And I'd say this ensemble has, has been working really, really hard on uh, maturing their sound and controlling their sound at uh, really a next level um, sort of aspiration. And I'm really proud of them for that. So uh, now I've set the expectation really high for the next, next piece for you guys, so just, just saying. Um, and I, I think they're going to be great. But this next piece is Eric Whitaker, Lux Aramka.
So before we get our final piece of the evening, uh, the as you see, we have rather an extensive percussion set up for it. So and I think they're already, look at them, they're already in place, good for them. Um, did want to remind you about the raffle for the DREAM program out in the lobby. I also do, as my plug for something else, Dominion students particularly have the holiday gift wrapping. It's the one fundraiser that we do that is 100% profit. It's over at the Dallas Town Center. Um, if you um, are signed up for, or if you're getting any of the emails or reminds from me, particularly reminds, Percussion equipment really is top of line. We have a freshly tuned grand piano that's being played on. We have a contrabassoon, which is an ex that's definitely a luxury instrument. English horn, um, extremely high-end euphoniums that the students are playing on, and I would say everyone in the group is outfitted with um, a professional level instrument. Things like that are not cheap. So the, there are really two ways to do it. Uh, we either raise funds or we ask um, for more to be paid for it. So I think we definitely prefer the fundraising route in what we do. So please, please, please um, find a little bit of time to do it. It's fun, I would say. Uh, I think the students, uh, I've gotten feedback that it's actually the most fun, fun fundraiser they participate in. Um, they enjoy it, go play. Uh, people are generally pleasant during the holiday season. So um, it's, it's just a good time for all. And again, pure profit for the band program.